In the previous lesson, we talked about the quarter notes. They will form the basis of everything we do, so you have to know where that is. And remember that you get all of these written out in music notation, so figure one in your music standard notation showed the quarter note rhythm signals. You just have the slash marks and they look like quarter notes, so a quarter note gets one beat. Well, let's look at figure two. Here we have eighth notes, and we're specifically talking about straight eighths, which mean we divide each beat into two equal parts. Let's listen to our jam track, which is again labeled straight eights. We're still at 76 beats per minute for the quarter note. Two, three, four, but you can hear how we're subdividing. Now, if you tap your foot, your foot's down on the number, but we count them by saying and. You can see that in figure two of your standard notation. One and two and three and four and. Now, as far as a picking scheme, you have two options. <coughs> Excuse me. You could play all downstrokes, and it depends what feel you want. I've addressed this on many of my courses, and it talks, sounds like this. One and two. And in addition, you might want to just practice playing all six strings on the number and just the bass string on the end. That's all downstrokes. Obviously, at a real fast one, there comes a point where it gets kind of tense on the right hand. All the real hard driving punk rock and ska and things like that would have these consecutive downstrokes, a lot of heavy rock things. But then your other option would be alternate picking. In that case, your right hand corresponds to what your foot's doing, down the number and up on the end. One and two and three. And remember, on the upstroke, you're only going to hit a couple of strings. You might say, wait a minute, this is very elementary. Well, hang in there. We are subdividing each beat into two equal parts. Well, what's the title of this entire course? It's entitled Shuffle Secrets. So I'm going to show you how to not sound like... <laughs> Very good. Here we have a shuffle jam, right? If I try to play straight eights again... It's fighting it. It's not going to be in the pocket. So straight eights don't work too well against a shuffle rhythm. We're going to talk about the swing eighth notes and actually the triplets, which are the basis of that, in our next lesson. But it's very important that you still understand these straight eighths. Now, this course addresses just shuffle rhythms, but the straight eighths will actually be something we'll use for rhythmic tension. Just like when I was playing against this, there was an argument going on rhythmically. a fight, but that's one way to create tension, rhythmically as well as harmonically and melodically. Our next lesson, we will talk about eighth note triplets.